This is the hexagonal prism 3x3 puzzle. It was made by taking a 30mm 3x3 and extending the pieces using 3D printed extensions, which uh, are available on my mini factory. The extensions were made by Jonathan Byrne, who has made his own version of this puzzle, and I thought, honestly, this was a really cool looking design, so I decided to make it myself. There were no sticker templates provided on my mini factory, so I asked Jonathan to provide some, and he did, but some of the stickers came out a little weird, and that's why you can see, like, the some of them are a little bit angular, but I think it's not that bad. I didn't sand the pieces that much. I did sand the inner 3x3 so that it would uh, super, so that the super glue would stick better. But in terms of finishing the pieces, all I really did was uh, kind of go over it with a sponge to remove the imperfections uh, made by the 3D printer, some little blemishes. And honestly, after that, it turns fine. Like. This puzzle does have a minor issue, but it's not because I didn't sand it, it's just that aligning it is sometimes hard because of the way the layers are shaped. And that means that sometimes it could be a little catchy, but honestly, like, sanding it wouldn't really have helped, I think, because it's not the actual turning that's the problem. The puzzle turns fine. Now this puzzle, even though it was made from a 30mm 3x3, it's actually pretty big. Like, here it is next to a 57mm cube and you can see it's definitely not small. So, I guess it's kind of cool that you start off with a really tiny cube, uh, like a 30 millimeter keychain cube, and end up with something that's pretty big. So, uh, now I'll scramble it. Okay, so that looks pretty scrambled to me. I don't think it's gonna be too difficult to solve just because it is just a 3x3 shape mod. Uh, and I have actually solved this before putting the stickers on, like just by shape. And uh, it was a little bit trippy because sometimes it was hard to see what piece is a center, what's an edge, what's a corner. But once you learn those uh, different piece types, it shouldn't be that bad. So I guess I'll give it a go and try solving it now. Since this is a 3x3 shape mod, it should pretty much solve just like, well, a 3x3, except uh, maybe we'll have some center orientations and also possibly parodies because these corners don't have an orientation uh, visible, uh, and on these edges also don't. But other than that, I'm fairly certain it's just going to be a basic 3x3 solve, so I guess I'll do the first layer now. So the first layer is uh, done. You can see that this is the center, these are the edges, and these are the corners. It doesn't really look like much other than just a corner of the hexagonal prism. And also uh, a center cap fell off, the orange one. The center caps on this puzzle, like the base uh, 30 millimeter 3x3, aren't really that tight and they do tend to fall off. If I really thought of it as a uh, big issue, I could just easily glue them down, but it honestly doesn't bother me that badly, so I just try to be gentle with the puzzle. Put this back in. 
there we go. Alright, I guess now we'll get on to the second layer. Okay, and the 3x3 three three hexagonal prism has been solved. Overall, I am a huge fan of this puzzle. I really like how the patterns on the top and bottom faces look, and it honestly turns really well. Uh, it's not really catchy per se, it's just that sometimes it's like you try to do a U move, but instead uh, you accidentally push it down into a F move or something like that. That happened to me numerous times. But still, it actually turns pretty well. So, I definitely recommend uh, printing this uh, and making this puzzle for yourself. Keep in mind, you will need a 30mm 3x3. It's fine to get one with a keychain because the keychain can just be removed. Huge thanks to NK Cubed for designing and publishing this puzzle. Thank you for watching, and have a good night.